What's happening everyone, it is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today I wanted to talk about one of the other custom binds that I got. I love the Sandman universe, I'm sure a lot of you do as well. We're talking about the the Endless, Books of Magic, House of Whispers, Lucifer, um, all that fun stuff. But the best part of the Sandman universe, at least in its most recent iteration, 2018, um, was Hellblazer by Simon Spurrier. I had it right side up the first time. An incredible, incredible run that didn't last very, very long, but... While it lasted, it was one of the best things I think I've ever read. If you're a big fan of John Constantine and the Hellblazer title, I highly recommend checking this uh, book out, this run out, um, getting the trade paperbacks for it, getting them bound like I did. Before we get into it, though, we're going to take a look at the book. I'm going to talk about the series, what I thought of it, written by Simon Spurrier with artwork by Aaron Campbell and Matthias Bergara. Amazing, amazing creative teams. Um, so I'm very excited to look at the artwork with everyone talk about the story a little bit and try to coax you into reading this thing because it's absolutely incredible. Before we do that though, quickly want to mention OrganicPriceBooks.com, the only place Matt and I go to get our hardcover comics now. Use the promo code THC2 at checkout and it'll get you an extra $2 off your order. Amazing shipping, amazing packaging. Um, great variety on the website. You can pre-order, back order. It's fantastic. Check out the website. Use that promo code THC2 for every order. Save yourself two bucks. Now, let's talk about what uh, I think is one of the best comic runs in uh, probably the last five years. <laughs> For anyone who may be unaware, um, in 2018, DC Comics sort of did a, a soft reboot of the um, Sandman universe. There were a bunch of titles that came out, The Dreaming, Books of Magic, House of Whispers, Lucifer. Um, and it's sort of near the tail end of it with, you know, a year into it, Hellblazer came out. Um, written by Simon Spurrier. Uh, a writer that I'm a, a massive, massive fan of. Uh, I love everything I've read by Simon Spurrier, and I can't wait to read more by Simon Spurrier. Um, it started off with a sort of, you know, Sandman Universe Presents issue, a, a prologue issue, if you will. Artwork by Marcio Takara in this one. Um, sort of introducing you, I guess, to where John Constantine's at, um, at least this John Constantine. Uh, a very interesting sort of prologue issue, r shrouded in, in mystery and, and sort of leaving you questioning, uh, leaving you with a lot of questions. What what is exa what exactly is happening here? Um, and then jumping into the 12 issue um, series, again, I don't know what happened. Um, it, it just lasted as long as it did, and I'm glad we got the story that we got here. So, the way Simon, uh, the way this this Simon Spurrier run worked is um, Aaron Campbell and Matthias Bergara would alternate on artwork duties. You'd have about three issues of Aaron Campbell, a couple issues of Matthias Bergara, and back and forth. I really enjoyed it. I really like both art styles. I think they match the the tones of the stories that were being told uh, with those art styles. Aaron Campbell stuff was a little darker, a little grittier, um, a little more horror based. And the Matthias Bergara stuff was not, not you know, not to say that it was uh, more lighthearted, but it, it was a little lighter. And you'll sort of see what I mean when we get to that bit. But the Aaron Campbell stuff is very um, supernatural, very dark. There's a lot of uh, strong colors, but the story, and, and that matches the, the tone of the story. Um, one, one thing that Simon Spurrier really gets, though, is John Constantine, the character, the voice of the character, the heart and soul of the character. Uh, this is a, a black label title, so it's, you know, rated R. There, there are a lot of F-bombs dropped in this. Um, because John has a potty mouth. Let's be honest, everyone. John has a very, very bad potty mouth. But it's, 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 the perfect embodiment of the character, I thought. The dialogue's incredible. Um, I've always loved Simon Spurrier's dialogue, especially when he gets to the sort of British characters, um, throwing in the slang and, and just making them, you know, sound really great. You can hear the, the dialogue in your head. It's fantastic. Um, so you can see the Matthias Bergara stuff now. Obviously, the color tone's very different. There's a very funny plot. Um, this book's very funny, too. It's very horrific. It gets very dark. Um, it makes you... You know, it, it puts John in some very disturbing moral situations, and we all know the kind of guy that John Constantine is, John Constantine is. Um, but he's trying to grow. We get to see a little bit of Timothy Hunter in here as well, who is from the uh, Books of Magic series. So a little fun crossover stuff happening as well, but 
Um, there are some new characters introduced here, some definitely not sidekicks, but definitely side characters that have a very uh, polarizing personalities. That it leads to either uh, hilarious moments or very emotional moments. Um, and the thing, great thing about this book is there's so much plot condensed into one issue. Reading one issue and reading one arc even really feels, you know, you end up it ends up being three or four issues, but it feels like much, much longer. It's very rewarding. Um, there are a lot of, you know, morally dark uh, uh, ideas that are explored here by Simon Spurrier with uh, Constantine as a, a great character to sort of look at both sides and make fun of both sides of, uh, of these moral decisions. Um, tied in with some fairy tales, some supernatural elements, um, it, it's really engrossing to read. Uh, the dialogue spectacular with it as well, and and the way Aaron Campbell's artwork suits the the tone of these horrific stories and this this dark dark book um, is absolutely amazing. Um, I really like what they did here. I'm I'm so sad that it was so short lived, but it honestly made for a perfectly perfect size behind with uh, 13 issues. I mean, just reads reads beautifully. It's super light. Um, a, a fantastic fantastic idea if you're looking for a nice uh, clean bind to make. Um, with an incredible story that you're going to reread over and over again. I know this is a book I'm going to revisit multiple times in the future. Uh, this is already going to be my third time reading it. I read it as it was coming out monthly. Um, that's how I, I bound it, using the single issues. Um, and I'm very excited to keep reading it. I'm a huge fan of Simon Spurrier. I've made a few other videos um, highlighting some of his other work. So I'll leave those down in the description below. Um, what do you think? Have you read Hellblazer by Simon Spurrier? What did you think of it? Um, would you pick it up after checking it out? You really should. I think there are two trade paperbacks that collect the entire series, so you can grab those, get them bound. Um, it's it's fantastic. I really can't recommend it enough. It's some of the best help. It's the best Hellblazer I've ever read, in my opinion. Um, and it's one of the best stories that I've read. Like I said, in the past five years, it's it's incredibly engrossing. The characters are so so spot on. Uh, the art's fantastic, and it's it's a book that as soon as you're done, you want to go back to. Um, so here's some, some eye hole for those of you who stayed around to the end. Here's your reward. And until next time, as always, you stay classy, Internet.